What's up, YouTube? It's still the morning. Still, my voice is a little, a little shaky. But we're gonna play chess one more game this morning. Oh boy! The last game I got paired with a 1900, which is odd because my rating is very high right now, 2480 on the best list. What's up? Who is Wyoming playing? It's a weird handle. Hmm. Gladys. Guo Shi. Just like looking at all my comp. See who they are. Kalmik. Alright, we're still waiting for an opponent. Here we go. Oh, we're playing Yardbird. Now he's pretty strong for some reason. His rating is pretty low right now. But he's much stronger than that. I do alright against him. On, on this account, I probably have a horrible record. But lifetime... Lately, like I do all right. Uh, his Eric Logren, one, uh, you know, a well-known, um, well-known European grandmaster, so living in Germany right now. This seems like a normal move, so I'll do it. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna castle as fast as possible and try to kill him. I feel like it never works. <laughs> I never kill this guy. I feel like I always beat him in like long, weird games when I do win. Sometimes on time, sometimes just some long game. Uh, but the, I'm just trying to castle queen side and try to destroy him. <laughs> Basically, I have more space, so you know anything's possible. Look at him trying to to uh, fix this situation. Um, he's trying to get all his pieces out. I can go e6. I'm just a little worried it'll get overextended there. Uh, but you know what? Let's just do it. I mean, on the other hand, his, his pieces are a little, especially with C8, it's a little uncoordinated. I can back it up with rookie one. I don't see how he can win it so easily, that pawn. So I'm just going to do it. I'm going to attack on the king side with h4 and h5. As soon as possible while his um, pieces are cut off. I wonder what his feed A rating is now. I'm going to look up. I'm going to look it up off screen. I mean, he's getting up there in years. Well, not not that much. How old is he? He's not that old, I guess. He's fifty, early like fifty-three. He's rated twenty-five, sixteen nowadays, but he's been much higher. I mean, he, I, I guess age four, you know. Let's we'll just go for it. Try to murder him. This is. I think he has a really bad position. I gotta be honest. Like this position's horrendous. Horrendous position because I'm just brutally attacking him now. Um, when I go h5, he should probably try to set up with g5, so I, I gotta be a little careful. But then I have maybe a queen e4, he goes f5, so I don't know. I'm also up on time, I'm a little faster than he is, which is always convenient. He's still thinking. I mean, you see his position, right? His pieces are not, like, so beautiful. Uh, by the way, I can maybe win a, a piece with queen d2. I mean, I don't know what he does about his, his knight there. So let's think about that real quick. Because <laughs> um, knight of 5, g4. And then he'll, he'll, be, he'll sack a piece somehow. Maybe I should just go for the attack. But if h5, g5... Not super easy, you know. I'm just gonna win the piece. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. But you know, it's like once I win. Oh, he can go to g4. I'm such an idiot. Well, didn't see that. But I, I'd still get h5 type moves in. Whatever. I just missed it. I thought he had to go to f5 for some weirdo reason. Huh. Because as soon as he goes knight g4, I have to defend the the e6 pawn. I'll probably do it with my d rook. Because I'll try to use my other rook into the attack somehow. I'm going to move quick too, because just in case I don't checkmate him, I'd like to have a, a nice big edge on the clock. Rook h3 to g3 is somewhat interesting, but I don't know. 
My queen's better on e2. I don't know why I did this. I'm going to put it back on e2 in a second. He's getting so low on time, so I'm just going to keep the tension. You know, use some good blitz strategy here. Um, I'm up two minutes, so as long as I can keep the game complicated, I don't have to do anything forcing. I just have to kind of, like, keep things the way they are. Right, I'm going to take because there's nothing else to do, really. I'm going to put my queen here because I think it's better here. I could also go queen a5. No, I'm just going to go queen, queen e2. Let's keep his bishop out of the game. Like, for real. Uh, create ideas of discoveries on his knight on g4. I always assume that was bad, but... Maybe it's not. So I'm going to now stop his knight from moving away and try to go f3. Alright, I'm going to go knight g1 and f3 and g4 and try to crush him. Time to crush you. <laughs> I mean, he's playing without his bishop, so... I feel like it should be good for me. Maybe someday he'll go f5, but... It just looks really bad. A really bad position. Um... Okay, I'll do this. Maybe knight f3 here. Let's see. Now, how about I take it like a normal person? Alright, and now... Now what? I mean, probably... Oh, focus, Greg. I'm gonna spend a second or two here to, to play a good move, maybe. All right, I'm gonna try to get his deep on, just because I, I want to make sure I can... Okay, he wants to go bishop b7 on me. I understand. That's annoying, right? It's typical me screwing up in his time trouble. But you know what? Let's keep my material like a jerk off. Okay, let's I don't wanna go let him go rook to I don't wanna let him do certain things that he can do. Uh maybe queen b three. The thing is he has this knight f two move. It's like annoying, but it opens the G file. Alright, definitely gonna do that. See now he's starting to move fast too, which is very annoying. But I get G1 ideas. Uh, let's make some quick moves. They're hopefully annoying. <laughs> um, what to do, what to do. Knight takes, hopefully it's good. I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening. I'm getting all confused here. Knight e seven's almost checkmate, but not, not quite. Um, uh... Bishop c4, does that make any sense? Well, how about I just play the, the move that defends my pieces? He's still... b2 is defended, which is nice. I didn't see that for some sicko reason, because I suck chess. I'll do this, whatever. He gets a check, I don't care. Oh, I didn't see that move. Well, this has really been great. <laughs> um, this has been one of the worst games ever played. Oh, he has ripish. Oh my god. This is really amazing. This is what I'm telling you, like, I, I don't know how I managed to lose this game, but I did. Maybe he won't see Rook check. Or right, he saw it. Let me just make sure I'm losing. Yeah. That was a pathetic, pathetic, pathetic game. I mean, I was crushing him so bad that, like, how did I manage to lose that? That's just, like, monstrously stupid. I wonder if I was even winning here. Take nice. Yeah, I mean, I saw I had a, like a thing like this. This discovery is right. Bishop e4. I guess I could just go back. But obviously, I'm not willing to take a draw when I'm crushing them all game. Let's see when my crushing stopped. So h5, h takes. I should just develop my pieces instead of do a stupid ass move getting his bishop into the game. Yeah, great. Take this pawn off so his bishop can have a freaking diagonal. <laughs> um, I guess I have knight h4. I see that now. I really suck at chess. <coughs> this is horrible. Stupid yard bird. It's a shame I haven't played in this account in so long. I remember I used to do horribly against him, like he would crush me all the time, but then 
I got better and I started to do well against them. But on this account, I'm sure my stats are horrible against them. Let me see what they are. Because it shows the stats before each game. Six wins, 12 losses. Well, I actually thought it was worse on this account. But yeah, that was really that was a really embarrassing game. <sighs> it's embarrassing. Do you see how badly I was crushing them, guys? Really badly. Really bad. Anyway, I'm out of here. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.